The fact that all other species on this planet have died out is no testament to the argument that we, as a race, will eventually die out. We could be inching evolutionary step by evolutionary step towards becoming God, all-knowing and all-capable of exerting over matter and energy and whatever else there may be in this universe. Is it possible to read the mind of God? We've been asking that question since the dawn of human history. It is this inquisitive nature that propels and compels us. It compels us to try to understand the universe. It compelled our ancestors to contemplate the mysteries of mathematics. It compelled us to build soaring monuments with remarkable feats of engineering. It compelled us to calculate the motion of heavenly bodies and to unlock nature's most stubborn secrets. Today, that same curiosity propels our frontier of knowledge and technology. Every day, we get better at harnessing more energy and manipulating it to do our bidding. And we're also getting better at doing more with less energy. How long will it be before we are compelled to merge our technology, mind and body? Will there ever be a time when we can no longer distinguish ourselves from our technology or ourselves from each other? Then, as we infuse the world with our technology, aren't we in fact infusing it with ourselves? Surely this infusion of intelligence will expand throughout the universe and beyond. When we reach that point where we can control matter and energy and manipulate space and time to do our bidding, then we, won't we finally be able to read the mind of God? The real testament is that all other species haven't died. Everything you see outside your window, alive, dead, and in between, is here. We are here.